In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three points tone paper effect slide design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the first tone paper will come uh, with the note and some detailed text. And here I've put a small post-it note along with the icon and then there's a pin here. And then I've created some shadow effect also. So when I click, it comes the second one. You can see here with a different color combination and then the third one so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the the points and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial to add a tone paper design, I'm going to go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to choose the free from shape. Before doing that, let me just zoom out a little bit so that you know exactly what I'm trying to do. Then shapes from the lines, I'm going to select the free from shape. And then you can see here, I'm just going to drag here and there. I'm just clicking. If you double click here, uh, this one that will, it will stop there. So don't double click. And here you can see here like this, some effect you can just make it. So it looks, it should look like a, the page is a tone. Okay. You can see here, make it something like that straight. And then again here, and then I'm just going to make it at the top also. And then you can see here, like this I'm just going to make it and then I'm just going to attach this one here all right so it looks something like this you can see here so for this shape outline I'm going to make it no outline and then you can just change the color of this first of all let me just go to the format background right mouse click and you can just give any color for the background say example I'm going to choose this color and for this i'm going to choose a white color go to format shape fill make it white and then you can put some pattern fill here i can just select any pattern fill here and then i can make the foreground color very light color so it looks something like this there's other way of doing also let me just show you but this is not the right uh, way to do it for example i'm going to shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here and then shape outline i can make it no outline and then right mouse click edit points you can see here four points and if you like to edit add the points here let me just zoom here for example i would like to add one point here just bring the cursor here right mouse click add point and then i can just bend it like this but you need to keep on adding so it will take a lot of time all right so better not to do this one instead use the free form shape now once this is done either you can reduce the size increase the size so depending on the requirement you can use it now let's add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and increase the transparency level you can see here maybe 70 percent and then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size all right and then i'm just going to bend it you can see here something like this and then just send this to back so you can see here you can just adjust it further i can just put it something like this you can see here like this and press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to add the other side also bend the other side a little bit and then just put it here and send this to back so you can see here we have added the shadow effect also now it's time to add some more shapes again go to insert shapes again i'm going to select the freeform shape here i'm going to add one rectangle okay so you can see here i can just somewhat zigzag rectangle i can add it here somewhat cross and then attach it shape outline make it white and you can increase the width all right and then shape fill you can just choose any color of your choice 
and for this also i'm going to give a shadow effect for that press ctrl d to duplicate shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level reduce the size or maybe the same size a little bit i'm just going to bend it here something like this and then send this to back and then both of this i'm going to group it ctrl g or you can just hold on by with the help of shift key also and you can group it so you can see here i have grouped this one now i'm going to add one a uh, pin or kind of a push pin or some other pin again for that i can use the same or i can use this curve also for example let me just start like this and i'm just going to bend it here all right and then one more one more bend and then double click all right and then maybe shape outline make it black increase the weight all right something like this you can see here if you want to reduce the size you can reduce it something like this now once this is done if you want to add some icons you can go to insert icons you can add any icons of your choice let me just add some icons maybe this all right and then i will keep it here reduce the size and make it white and just place it here all right now it's time to add the text go to insert text box you can add your note all right and then i'm going to make it center align i'm going to say the hand of sean if you want to increase the size and maybe you can just give some different color and then below you can add some detailed text i'll just say equals lorem within brackets one reduce the font size and color also i'm going to make it somewhat lighter center align and i'm going to place it here so you can see here this is my first one and then if i want to add one more i'm just going to press ctrl a you can see here Control D to duplicate, bring it down, and then I want to change the color of this. All right, I can just choose any color of my choice, and then I can just delete this one, add a new one. You can add any icon of your choice. Again, bring it here, reduce the size, and I'm going to make it white. So, depending on your requirements, uh, as many uh, uh you want uh, which uh, fits into the slide you can add it and the last part is you can add the simple animation to it uh, let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane the first i'm going to select the paper i'm going to say fly in fly in i can make it from top it comes something like this and then this shadow effect should come so i'm going to select the shadow effect by holding the shift key and then I'm going to make it as a fade. You can see here, and this should happen after previous. All right. And these things I can just group it. All right. And this also I can group it. Then I'm just going to select this pin, both the pins by holding the shift key and bring to front. All right. And then if you want, you can just group this text also, both the text. Press Ctrl G. All right. And then this should come here again go to the animations i'm going to say fly in it should if you want it should come from the bottom not a problem and make it after previous and then this pin again fly in i'm going to say from top and that should happen after previous and then the text also you can make it a wipe effect it should happen from the top after previous so let's see how it plays so when i click you can see here it comes something like this simple animation effect you can just copy and paste for this also using the animation painter